Los Angeles Opera is doing a program, a project for the schools called Voices for Tolerance. And for each of three segments of the population, one is for the African American, one is for Hispanic kids, and the third is about the concentration camp in Germany at the, during the Holocaust, the Terezin concentration camp, which had a lot of music involved in it. So um, our education committee, which luckily Domingo supports as, as strongly as he does what goes on the main stage. So we had a, um, a major work for each of the two, for the, for the African American, we're bringing out the Alvin Ailey dance troupe to do chain gang dances, they have a whole program of it. For the Terracine concentration camp segment, we're doing the Verdi Requiem, which was done at a German concentration camp in Prague. And the third thing we're doing didn't have a work for the main stage, the Hispanic. And then a composer who's wonderful, movie and opera composer, Lee Holdridge, very good composer. He's Hispanic, he's from Costa Rica. And I told him about the problem, We're, we don't have a work for the Chandler main stage, for the big audience. And he said, 10 years ago I did a film called Old Gringo with Jimmy Smith's um, Jane Fonda, a couple of others, and it was about Pancho Villa, the Mexican revolutionary. And Lee wrote the score. And I said there was a piece in there. Pancho Villa was a real music lover. And wherever he went, get the local band, whatever, to play for him in the evening. Little village in Mexico. There was a family, a family band, a man named Mendez, had his children, nine children, a band. And the star of the band was his nine-year-old son, Rafael, played trumpet. Lee wanted to put Raphael as a boy. They, they had, it was in the film, uh, and Lee was doing the music, so he hired the best trumpeter in town. And the pr producer said, hey, it's a nine-year-old kid. You don't get a great trumpeter to play. But the trumpeter he hired said, that kid grew up to be the greatest trumpeter who ever lived. So, <laughs> yeah. so Lee is writing a piece called Concerto para Raphael. We have two versions of it, one for symphony orchestra, trumpeter, narrator, three opera singers, um, and that'll play in the Chandler. We're doing four performances. And Domingo is going to play Pancho Villa and Raphael's father. Another tenor is going to, uh, baritone Rod Guilfrey is going to do uh, Russ Morgan, Rudy Valley, and the contractor of the MGM Symphony, and a mezzo, Susanna Guzman, is going to play his wife. And ironically, Raphael had two sons who were also great trumpeters, twins, but they became doctors. They didn't want to, they couldn't have followed their father, you know. And they have an office three blocks away from the Los Angeles Music Center, as the urologists now in their 60s. And they worked with Doc Severinsen on putting together this legacy record. So we spoke to them about, we're dedicating this whole project to the memory of Rafael Mendez. And uh, a second version will be just for five or six pieces, three singers, narrator, to go around to the schools. We, have, we do operas written especially for children all around the uh, Southern California. So um, that's going to be very exciting. And for this town, for this Southern California, where 65% of the children are Hispanic, can you imagine the inspiration that uh, the life of Mendez will be for them? That's great. Just, uh, and I got a great idea. It's going to be in three movements. The first movement is Pancho Villa. Second movement is America, Morgan Valley, MGM. And the third is more about his children and his wife and whatever. 
It'll, altogether, it'll be about 45, 50 minutes playing a lot of the things he, he made famous and some original stuff together with working in with the singers, you know. About five minutes from the end, you hear a trumpet off stage and it gradually gets closer and closer and it sort of does a duet with the main guy on stage. And then we'll walk a 10-year-old boy or girl who's a virtuoso. Dramatic moment. Then, just before the end, he wrote one march which came, became very famous, the Diamond. Those are the Chandler Pavilion open and in will walk the USC marching band brass section on stage together with the symphony, the singers, the trumpeters. Be fantastic. You know, so that's an educational project that really will make a difference in this town.